without much talking, I'm going to try and assemble my IoT node and see how that goes. This is more of a demonstration than a proper explanation. Obviously, this will be for the wires for the relay to control, lights, etc. This is where the wire will go, the Ethernet cable for the passive PoE. We need to protect that, obviously. This will be covered with some sort of glue to give it water resistance. Okay, you can see this rubber band here. It uh, protects the insides from uh, water penetration and dust. Obviously, gaskets, super useful. This will just snap in nicely. And I can just secure it with a screw over here. I'm not going to tighten it all the way, no point. It will just clamp onto this and make it much tighter. The center of the entire IoT node obviously has grooves for gaskets. If I can get it to uh, get in and stay there. Okay, good. There's another one on this side. Also, as you can tell, it's got uh, pre-designed and obviously 3D printed little feet to mount it to the wall. This will slide in and again, same story here, apply some pressure and screw it down. So this holds. Obviously I'm not doing it all the way, that would take too much time. You get the general idea. Now the third bit, you guessed it, it will slide in. I'm going to apply some pressure here and screw it in. Perfect. So as you can tell, we have a nice lovely unit, obviously it wouldn't be finished without these, so each one of those obviously has also a groove. The, the cable is 2mm, but I made the groove 0.8mm on both, so what this allows when this run away. When this gets screwed in and applied pressure, it actually uh, squeezes the rubber, which makes the seal even better. Uh, for this purpose, I'm just going to go with two screws and not even go full in, because there's no point, it will take too long. And here we go, the last one, same stick, one screw here. One here, just with my hands. No point to go crazy. And there you go. An IoT node assembled. Obviously here, you will be applying the glue to clear out all of the, uh, all of the holes. But obviously this will be in place. So that's a different uh, finishing tactic. However, since this was designed before I discovered DIN rails, I will need now a new mechanism to uh, mount this somehow or redesign these all together in FreeCAD uh, so I can have uh, more control over the design. This has been obviously, if you don't know, done in Tintercad. Yes, it's possible, but if I want to make any changes to this, it's major pain. This lighter here for perspective purposes. 
perspective purposes only. So, yeah, that's it. Now, hopefully, any doubts or questions about what is this module design have gone away. Uh, hopefully, you enjoyed it, and uh, thanks for watching. Cheers.